Hello and welcome back to the Carefree IT TV. Today we're going to be showing you how to create, update, and manage your signatures in Microsoft Outlook 2010, as well as how to add background themes to your outgoing emails. So first we're going to see how we can create a signature. So we're going to go to File, Options, and you're going to click on Mail, and go down and click on Signatures. And we're going to click on New. And now let's type in a name for our signature. So let's just call this one Stephanie's signature. So now we can customize our signature the way that we'd like it to appear. So you can choose the font that you want, the size. You can make it bold, italicized, or underlined. You can choose the color. We'll just leave this one black. You can add a picture and we'll show you that in a sec, uh, or you can add, add hyperlinks, which we'll also be showing you. So let's create a signature with our name, company logo, address, and a link to our website. So we want our name to appear in bold, let's say size 14 font, so we're going to type our name, and make that bold, and size 14, and below that we want our address, so we're going to put in our company address, And we're going to unbold that and make that smaller. And below that, we're going to have a link to our website. So we'll show you how to add a hyperlink to that in just a sec. But below our name, we want to add our company logo. So you can add any images that you'd like. Maybe you want some social media icons to appear uh, if you have Facebook and Twitter or maybe an ad for a certain promotion that you have going on, but we just want our logo to appear in our signature. So we're going to click just below our name where we want our logo to appear, and click on the little picture icon, and we're going to find where our picture is saved. And insert. So now we have our image and it's sized to the way we want. So now we want to add a link to our website just below our company address. So we're going to highlight our website and click on the insert hyperlink button and add our website address here. It's already there. Let's just call this Carefree IT and add a link to carefreeit.ca. And there we have our website linked to our signature. So you can also link an image to our website. So if we wanted our logo to link to our website, we can do the same thing by clicking on the image, going to the hyperlink button, and putting in our website address again, and clicking OK. So that might be useful if you do have social media, or and maybe if you want to add a Facebook icon that links your company fa Facebook page, or a company blog, or any material that you'd like to promote. So from this window, we can also add themes, as well as what Outlook calls stationary, which is essentially the background design of our email message. So this is going to help us spruce up our emails a little bit and style them a with a little bit using different headers, different fonts, different background images, etc. So let's say that we want to send an employee of the month email to all of our employees, and we can pick a theme to style our emails the way that we want to go with our employee of the month email message that we want to send. So let's see some examples. We're going to click on the personal stationery tab and let's pick a theme first. So click on theme and from here you can see a long list of all kinds of different themes that you can add. We have bears, we've got some fun ones, we've got some more professional looking ones with different headers, different fonts, different styles, different backgrounds. And we're going to pick, we're going to go down and pick stars to go with our employee of the month theme. I'm going to click OK. And from this window, you can also select your default font for new email messages, messages that you're replying to, or messages that you're forwarding.
So there's different fonts here. We're you can see ones like Comic Sans, or if you want something more professional, we're going to use Verdana. And keep it regular font style, size 14 maybe. And yeah, that looks good to us. You can change the color. We're just going to leave it black. And click OK. And click OK again. And OK. So now when we uh, click on new email, we're going to have the new theme appear. And the signature that we just created is there as well. So you can leave that there, or you can, if you don't want it there, you can just simply hit delete. And if you click on the insert tab, there's all kinds of ways that you can use the functions here to style your email a little bit more the way that you want. So you can add, maybe you want to add a picture of your employee of the month, you could do that from there. You can add some clip art, some shapes, you can add a chart, maybe he or she had some great results and you want to post a chart of some of the results that he helps your business achieve. You can add some word art, and there's some nice options in there. So you can use all the different options here to style your email the way that you want. So we're just going to close our email. And yeah, we hope that you can use your creative ideas to design your emails the way that you'd like. And we thank you for watching our tutorial. And next week, we're going to continue our Outlook series with out-of-office replies. Thank you.